so the mission boundaries have changed. So I've been home 14 years. So 14 years ago, so I, I started there. I got there 1997, December of 97. So basically uh, 98. And the mission boundaries then was everything below the Virgin Islands and the tip of South America. There's three countries in the, in the very top, uh, Suriname, French Guiana, and Guyana. And then 13 islands. So 16 different countries within the mission. And within the mission, there was French. I think at the time we had, and I may be off on these numbers, but we had about 20 French-speaking elders, 14 Dutch-speaking elders, and, and 150 or so English-speaking elders. And then about four or five months into my mission, the mission president announced that uh, they're going to open up a Spanish-speaking uh, area, and he asked if there's any missionaries in the mission that speak Spanish or have any, you know, uh, have, any, have any experience with Spanish. And there was uh, some missionaries. Um, I took a little Spanish in high school, so I, I, I know some Spanish. Um, and uh, so the mission president prayed about it and found four missionaries that, uh, that he wanted to go Spanish speaking and their mission actually changed to Spanish speaking and they would spend a month I think it was a month in the MTC learning Spanish and um, and then I think on the next zone conference or a couple zone conferences later they all came back and bore testimony of how powerful the you know the speaking in tongues the gift of tongues was and how they weren't as prepared as they should have been for knowing Spanish by how well they did speak, they were surprised of what uh, how much they picked up in just that one month, and they went out and they were they were serving Spanish speaking. So that's the that's the 16 countries. Now in 1999, December of 99, so basically 2000, they um, I was in the country of Guyana, and the country of Guyana, which is just one of three countries I served in, is a humongous country um, in relation to how many where where the people were, where the missionaries were. It was a very small area where the missionaries were, but then there's lots of bush and area where we didn't go. And then on one side of the country, I guess it was on the east side, there was a country called Berbice. And, um, and Berbice, uh, I, I remember him, our mission president, announcing they were going to put two missionaries to open up Berbice. They put him in there, got him up, they got an apartment, got everything taken care of, and, uh, and they started proselyting Berbice. So now, Fast forward 14 years. Now I was up at the Temple Square, and um, there was a sister, and she had a little tag from Guyana. And I said, "Hey, you're from Guyana?" And she says, "Yeah, I'm from Guyana." I said, "Where are you from?" And she says, "I'm from Berbice." And the spirit was super strong when she said that. I'm like, "Wow, that's that's amazing." You know, 14 years later, we have a strong LDS foundation in in Guyana that they're now sending sister missionaries off on missions. And, uh, and then that got me a little excited. So I started contacting people on Facebook and finding out how, how big the mission has gotten and how branches, you know, once where branches are now wards and districts are now stakes. And, um, one of the, uh, one of the young men I baptized is now he was in the district presidency or stake presidency. And, uh, so it's interesting to see how much happens in a mission when uh, in just such a, I mean, I think 14 years is a short amount of time, but for for a country that uh, you know, when I walk around, there's we had Barbados. I think we had eight people that would come to church every Sunday, and uh, I haven't talked to anybody in Barbados, but I'm interested to hear. You know, I just uh, I haven't been able to contact anybody from there because it was such a small, uh, small branch that was there, but I'm sure it's I'm sure it's humongous now the way things were growing. I started in Trinidad and that's where the mission home is. Now this has changed now. I think Puerto Rico South has gobbled up uh, several of the islands. So I think Barbados is now part of Puerto Rico South. Not not 100% sure. Some of the newer missionaries would probably know. And um, and I, I think for a while they actually changed the mission back to the name Trinidad and Tobago Mission, but I think it's still West Indies now. So I don't know. I know there's a lot of changes that happened in that 14 years, but I started off in Trinidad, which is where the mission home was at the time. I was there for about eight months, eight or nine months, and then I transferred to Barbados. I was there for eight or nine months, and then Guyana, eight or nine months. I don't know if that adds up to 24 months, but, but that's kind of, those are the three countries I served in.